And today we're going to talk about handiwork. That's what we'll talk about today, handiwork. Um, can I share my screen while I start? You can, and remember to do oh, those okay. buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I will do, thank you. Right. Okay, so your screen just disappeared. <laughs> okay, oh. is, is my screen back now? Yes, we can see it, Auntie. Thank you. Okay. So today, boys and girls, we would do an award called Handicraft. That's what we're going to do. Um, and before we start, I'll just introduce myself um, with... Um, a picture as well. So this is what I look like when I'm in uniform, when I'm in my master guide uniform. Um, I live in a place in Scotland called Loch Lomond, very near the Loch Ness Monster. So in my spare time, I walk in, I ride in the water. And I'm looking forward to hearing your answers today with the award that we're doing. So let's get started. Are you all ready? Yes, we are. Yeah, are you ready? We've okay. muted the guys, but they can put anything on the chat, Auntie. That's fine. Oh. I was expecting to, to just get the answers on the chat, so that's all right. That's right, it. so in order for you to qualify um, and get your award today, you will need to do the following things. You will need to make six pieces of handiwork. How many? Six. Um, and I'll go through each one of the type of handiwork that you can make, but I'll also give you the option to create your own, okay? So all of that will be in the requirement um, sheet, which you can download on the website when we finish this. Right, so let's get started. What does handiwork mean? What does handiwork mean? Um, I'll invite you boys and girls to type your answers in the chat. So what does handiwork mean? You've got a big clue on the screen. Okay. okay any, any, any guesses? Any, any idea? Let's give Auntie some answers. So I'm going to read those answers for you, Auntie. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, Geraldine. Sorry, Auntie. It's actually um, Alex who says making things with your hands. Mm -hmm. And Mona says handwork. We have Samuel saying using your hands. And uh, Casey also saying using your hands. But Abigail thinks it's helping. Okay. So everybody that said using your hands. And online. Yeah, on Facebook, they're saying the same thing. Stuff with your hands. Doing crafts with your hands, says Kai. And uh, Giovanni says uh, crafts with your hands. And uh, Kemonto says hand work. Fantastic. I think you guys have been doing a lot of handiwork because you know what handiwork means. So handiwork simply means doing stuff and making things with your hands. Now, how many of you have hands? I'm sure most of you do, all of you will have it. Okay, so here's a definition that I found that I'll share with you, which is very similar to what you have all said. Handiwork is something that you've done or you've achieved or made with your own two hands. That's what handiwork means or any work that is done by your hands, okay? So everybody has hands, which means that we can all do handiwork, can't we? So today we're going to learn about um, what types of handiwork they are and who has made handiwork before, who made us, which is the next question. And I'll ask you to type your answers. Can anyone give me examples of handiwork that you've seen? 
any handiwork that you've seen, if you type your answers in the chat. Anything at all that has been You've already used. got some answers for you, Auntie. Painting. Fabulous. You've um, really really some, uh, making children. people with wires. Using yes. Clay. Yes. Um, and um, okay, those are the main ones. We on Facebook, somebody says building. And uh, yeah, so we have all these things we can use painting. Uh, so those are the answers we are getting through, Auntie. Okay, absolutely correct. Handiwork can be painting, can be building, can be made, making things with wires, um, anything at all that you use your hands. And remember, everybody has hands. So everybody can do handiwork. Okay, so that's correct. I have another question. We know now that handiwork is anything you use your hands to make, but tell me what materials do we use to make handiwork? What materials can we use to make handiwork? You can, you can type your answers in the chat. What sort of things have you seen that have made handiwork? Okay, so uh, Lego, does that qualify, Auntie? Um, it does if you make something and construct it, not just as a piece of Lego, yes. <laughs> but there's a, there's a lot more natural um, and, and, and raw materials as well. So we've got wires. Yes. Got, uh, I, think, I, think, I think somebody really likes making stuff with wires, I can tell. <laughs> actually, that's a different person, actually, Auntie. Oh, that's really? Okay, well, there's a lot of wire makers here. Anything Play, else? Any material? Play, wood. Wood, fantastic, yes, absolutely. Nobody even says pens. <laughs> well, you need something to use with the hands, but yes, you do need your hands. That's a good point. You can't make handiwork without hands. Any other answers? Um, yeah, the marker color pens and pencil. Yes. Absolutely. Beads. Uh-huh. Um, felt. Yes. So those are the answers we are getting, Auntie. Sand, glitter, steel. Yes, Ooh. that's it. I think we've got a lot of very creative children here. All of your answers are right. So you've already given me the answers, but some of the things that you can use to make handiwork include paper, scissors, pens. You can use old material like um, um, toilet paper rolls, kitchen paper rolls. The other thing you can do is you can use natural material for your handiwork. So you can use pine cones, you can use leaves. And later on, I'm going to show you a little bit of handiwork that I've used, I've made making all of these materials, using all these materials. Okay, so well done, you know the answers to this. Now, I'm going to ask you another question. Can can you give me examples of handiwork from the Bible? There's a lot of examples from handiwork okay. in the Bible. Handiwork in the Bible. Oh, yeah. well, Samuel says God making man. That was handiwork. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel, you're on point. That's right. So God making man, that is the biggest handiwork made in the you've actually started answering one of the questions I have later Samuel so well done and any other examples of handiwork from the bible Alex says in Jeremiah I think he's referring to the clay but um, um, I'll leave Samuel to uh, get back to us on or Jerem uh, Alex to uh, get back to us Noah's Ark yes absolutely fantastic that's really good and Casey says, this was special handiwork for making a woman. Oh, <laughs> that's right, <laughs> man and a woman. Right, okay, so um, all of you have got that right. So you know examples of handiwork. Well, I just mentioned one more from Facebook. The coat yeah. of Joseph, Amuta uh, says uh, uh, the coat of Joseph. Yes, now that's actually one I hadn't even thought about. So well done. Very good. A very colorful piece of handiwork as well. Making um, the tabernacle. Yes. Oh, goodness. You guys are clever. Very, very clever. You're thinking about things way before I do. Okay. So my next question is, 
there is some handiwork that we see in the very first Bible verse. And I'm going to ask someone to tell me what that is. It's found in Genesis 1, verse 1. Does anyone know what that says? Okay, so we've got in the beginning, God made heaven and earth. Yes. Okay, so, so that is an example of handiwork. Well done. Um, handiwork, ha heaven and, and earth. And so that leads us to our next question. So in the beginning, God made heaven and earth. Yeah. By the way, Auntie, sorry to uh, say this, but I, I love this, Auntie. We've got some guys on Facebook who have added David making a sling, Moses basket, and God as a carpenter. So I just thought I would add those to the list you had. Fantastic. You guys are definitely, definitely um, much better at, at thinking about Bible handiwork than, than I am. Right, I have a few pictures here of things that you've already mentioned and some of them, um, the first person said, God making us as handiwork. We are Christ's craftsmanship. We are the hand of God. And not only that, we are made in the image of God. So there's a picture here of that and all the animals and the ark and everything that was made um, at the beginning is an example. Um, so what handiwork, this one I've already given you an answer for, what handiwork did, uh, did God make first? Okay. What handiwork did God make first? Okay, so we have light. Yeah. That's um, the question. And um, yeah, so sun and the moon, somebody says. Okay, so does anyone remember the, ver the verse that we read first, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1? And somebody said heaven. Heaven and earth. Yes. Absolutely. The heavens and the earth. Well done for that. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to practical examples of handiwork that you have seen. And I'll invite you um, to write your answers in the chat of any type of handiwork that you've seen people create. It can be in your home, it can be at school, it could be something that somebody's given you or something that you've given someone else. Any, any answers? Okay, so um, what examples of handiwork that people have seen? Mm -hmm. uh, we have Mona Lisa. Ooh, that's good. Yes. Um, somebody says cave paintings that they. Yes, absolutely. Very well done. Yes. Okay, hand painting. Uh huh. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's what mosaics. So yes. Oh my goodness. Some mosaic. So there's lots and lots of. I like your examples because you get natural hand handiwork and you have um, more homemade type of handiwork that you're giving answers for. Okay, I'm going to give you some examples of handiwork that I've seen, okay? The first one here is this picture of somebody who's used buttons and paper and a little bit of grass to create a mosaic. That's the first one here. I've also seen someone use seashells to create a picture. Okay, that's examples that I have seen. Um, and another example of handiwork I've seen is mobile art. Has anyone seen any mobile art? Yes or no? Um, art. Yes, says Geraldine. Okay. Geraldine okay. And that's an, another example. Now, somebody mentioned this um, verse in Jeremiah, but one of the things that we can use our hands for is to use clay work. So we can mold things with our hand um, and use clay work. Does anyone know anyone in, uh, an example of any handmade with clay examples from the Bible? Okay, so, Handy clay handiwork from the Bible. 
Mm. Anybody know any clay handiwork? Come on, boys and girls. Let's uh, surprise Auntie here because you guys are so good. You've been doing so well. Does anyone, any, any answers? answers? Jeremiah Claypot. Jeremiah Claypot, yes. Now, the most exciting clay work that I was thinking about or made from the um, clay is actually the human being. So God made us and formed us from the dust into our human being. So we are an example of handiwork made from clay. Okay. Yeah, um, someone says, I say that it was Adam. It was Adam. <laughs> yes, you someone say says that. me. <laughs> okay, so we have also got a practical element. So this, this award, in order for you to get your award, we need to make, remember I said, how many things do you need to make? How many? Does anyone remember? Six. Six. Caroline and Sophia. Yes, six. These guys have sharp memories. Yes, the sharp memory. So I'm going to um, a Get Well Soon card. I have a Get Well Soon card here that I've already prepared. And I'm going to go in a little while, I'm going to show you a video of how we can make a Get Well Soon card. But does anyone remember the type of handiwork that we can you, we can make? So we've got a Get Well Soon card. Anything else that was on the list? Does anyone remember the requirements? Okay, so guys, do you remember the requirements? Do you wanna just type that in? And uh, we will ask the guys on uh, Facebook first because they've been uh, sending some stuff and some of them have missed it. So to be fair, I will ask them. So guys, what do you remember that Auntie mentioned in the requirements? So we've already said the Get Well Soon card. Yep, that's useful. Anything, anything, else? anything else? Anything else, guys? Pencils and colored pencils. Not sure about that one. You've got that right in terms of materials, but what do you need to make? Examples of what you can make in order to get your award examples of things that uh, you can make okay so um a, a, a mobile a mobile perfect yes we were showed you that before yes a shell picture yes yeah so giovanni is giving us some answers here is that all from one person well done yeah yeah okay. and then here, so that's all correct the get well soon card you can make a paper match from paper you can make, um, so that's an example there. You can make something from a dry flower or a dry plant. That's another thing that you can do. In a little while, I'll show you how you can do that with a leaf. Um, that's more examples of very, very exquisite looking flowers that are made from dry uh, barley and wheat. Um, you can make something with dough or clay. You can make something with the shell, like somebody said earlier. Um, and you can make a cover for a photo album or a book, okay? And I'll show you an example of that as well in a little while. And then of course you can make a mobile art, which somebody has already said. Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you is you can make a uh, an example of handiwork with six different types of materials. So you can maybe include paper, you can include leaves, you can use different types and that's examples of that here and another one there in that last picture. Okay, um, so now it is our turn to make something. Okay, so we're going to make something and how many of you have ever given someone a handmade gift? If you can type your answers in your box. How many of you have ever made someone in the chat box, made a gift and given someone that gift. Um, if you do say yes, can you tell us what gift you've made and given uh, away? Thank you, Auntie, for explaining that. So what what did you make? And um, have you ever made something for somebody? So let us know so that we can share and encourage each other. Uh, someone says a string sculpture. 
a string, okay, string oh, sculpture, uh, yeah. I say is a picture. Okay, that's very good. Mother's Day card. Perfect, yes, that's really good. A bracelet. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we've got a few things and uh, the guys are still typing here. So we've got a busy chat uh, this afternoon. My friends and sister made them some bracelets and I made a Valentine's card for my mommy and daddy and uh, pasta craft and painted flowers. So we've got a few there for you. Uh, I think that you guys, you boys and girls will find it very easy to complete this award because you're making things all the time and you've made it already. Okay, so next in um, our presentation today, I'm going to show you some of the things that I have made, okay? So I've made posters, I've made um, a bracelet. You can see me in that picture wearing it. I've made a pencil case. And I've also made a cover for my Bible, okay? I've made um, a leaf dried up and framed, okay? That's the example of the cover for my Bible that I made. Now, this is a very, very important cover because I made it when I was your age, okay? This is my hymn book. When I was in Zimbabwe, I made that. And this is my old Bible from many, many years ago. Can you see it? It's old, it's tattered, but you know what? I made it, okay? So this is one of the requirements that you can make for your, um, for your award. Wow, that looks um, lovely, Auntie. I'm going to show you now how you can use your le a leaf, a dry leaf, to create some handiwork. And before I do that, I'm going to ask a question. How do you dry a leaf to make it in handiwork? How, how do you think I did that? Any answers? You can either bake it. I've, got you, I've given you a few options there, just so you can guess. You can bake it. You can blow it dry. You know, you can, until it dries. You can place it between a book to dry, or you can place it in water to help it dry. What do you think, boys and girls? Well, somebody suggests you can laminate it. You can laminate it before you laminate it. Um, do you laminate it when it's wet? How do you laminate it? It will be one of these four answers. Leave it outside to dry. You can leave it outside to dry. There might be a little problem, but that's an option. Anything else? And somebody says, uh, place it, uh, put it outside in the sun. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but uh, auntie, some guys are still stuck on all your handiwork. They are still sending some love messages for your great hand. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> love, love back to you. Okay, I'll show you what happens if you leave a leaf out to dry in the weather. It will look like that. Yeah. So that's an example of a leaf that's left out to dry. If you want to frame your leaf, like I did there, I placed my leaf inside my book. So I took a dry leaf, a wet leaf, and I put it inside a book for about a week and it came out looking like that. Yeah? And that is what I then framed. So there's several ways to dry the leaf. And once you've done it, you can do so many things with it. Like you can create um, a frame, you can create a flower display and you can give it away. Now, what I did with my collection, I'll show you, is I created a little flower display. Wow. Do you see that? And I'm giving it to my mother because she taught me how to do this. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do in the practical sense, is there anything else that people are saying about this? Because I'm going to move on from my own handiwork now. So well, we can watch. They are just so pleased to see it. We've got hearts flying out on Facebook uh, for that uh, handiwork. And uh, the guys here are also expressing their appreciation. So well done, you. Next. Okay. Clap to me. Um, okay, video time now. So the next thing that we will make 
um, is a get well soon card. I thought this would be an ideal thing because I have a friend who unfortunately has been ill because of COVID and I've made her a great a get well soon card. In order to make this, um, this is another requirement for your honor. You need a scissors, you need some colored pens, glue and any decorating craft. I've used these, um, um, I've used a band aid and I've also used just some paper. This is the card that I've made. Now, what I really like about my card is it opens up into a pop-up rainbow. Yeah, you see that? So when my friend opens it, it'll be boom. Okay, wow. so that's what we're going to learn to make today. And that will also be something you need to make for your requirements. Yeah. Um, here we go. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Red Ted Art. We're going to make a super quick and easy pop-up rainbow card. Come on, let's take a look and see how they're made. To make this pop-up card, you will need some white paper um, or some coloured uh, paper, actually, and you can stick your rainbow. Uh, a bit of card, a glue stick, scissors, and some pens or some watercolours. Uh, so basically just go with... Um, what you have now the key to this rainbow is that this width is the width of the rainbow so when you're coloring in don't make it wider than the card itself so you might even want to make a little mark just so you know so you want a bit smaller than that and then you roughly divide it into your rainbow colors and um, as mentioned color it in so i'm going to use pens in this demo but you can use watercolors, anything you want. And I'll just give you a quick, quick demo, um, but we'll use the watercolor one at the end. So basically, just go about a centimeter in and start coloring. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. And you keep going right to the end. There we go and keep adding all your colors until you have a rainbow now i did actually do one with watercolors and because i prepared this one earlier i'm going to use it just to save a little bit on time um but obviously go uh, you know take your time color it in you can put patterns on your rainbow uh you can use strips of paper if you prefer it's really up to you also you can see here i didn't have any purple so i just used dark blue you know you don't have to be super super accurate with your rainbow for it to look nice just double check that it still fits yes it does and then this is the easy bit you just take it and fold your rainbow so this is like a concertina fold super easy go all the way So I used an A4 sheet of paper, which I think makes it 29 centimeters long. I think that's pretty much the shortest you'd want. If your paper is shorter than that, you can make two strips and just um, glue them together. But it works just about for our rainbow. There we go. Now I made the last one a bit fatter because that gives me a bit more space for gluing. In fact, so get your card, fold it in half. Get your glue, put glue just on this line. Fold it all up again, just makes it easier when you put it in the card. Take the glue bit, find the position, how high up, how low you want it. I'm gonna put it reasonably high so there's space for writing and clouds and press down. Make sure it's perpendicular. Now add glue here. Bring this over and again, make sure it's glued really tight. Open. Ta -da! Now I'm not gonna open it too much just yet because I'm letting the glue dry, so let that dry. So in the meantime, 
okay. Wow. Um, I'm going to end there because now you've seen how to make a pop-up rainbow card as the first thing for your requirements. And if you need a reminder of what that looks like, there's a card I've made. Ta-da! Wow. Now Love. please go and make a card and five other pieces of handiwork for someone. Um, I'm going to stop there and um, if there's any questions, but I think that's 45 minutes, so I need to finish. Okay, that is super. That is super, Auntie. This is proper. This is a lovely uh, a card and uh, all the ideas that you've shared with us. We really appreciate the, those. Um, okay, someone says, I wanted to see the flowers that uh, she was showing. Uh, is that you? You showed some flowers? that they have missed and they wanted to ask if you can uh, go back to the flowers again. On my flowers or the ones on the screen? Um, I guess those are your flowers. There we go. Oh. That is the dry flower that was wet from the rain, the one that I put in the book and I've just molded up a little piece of string and made a little dry flower arrangement. There. That looks lovely, Auntie. So Just please send us your arts and crafts uh, and your pictures of whatever you've made. Uh, do send them to uh, Dan at Adventist.uk. You'll see that appearing on Facebook and also here on Zoom. Just copy down that address and send us some of the stuff you've made. And we are sure to uh, let Auntie Audrey know that uh, you guys are making some excellent stuff uh, out there. So well done to you. And thank you again to um, Auntie. I don't know if you have something to say in closing, Auntie. Yes. So in closing, I just want to encourage you boys and girls. God has given you all a pair of hands. Yeah. Hold up your hands. Let's see those hands. Right. Okay. Because you all have a pair of hands, it means that you can all do handiwork and you can all bless someone with your handiwork. 